Hi guys, this is Paige. I'm uh, making this video about kindness and how important being kind to each other is. Jesus said that people would know we're his disciples by the love we have for each other and basically others. That's what he meant. Because when you come to Jesus Christ and you have the Holy Spirit, you are the light of the world, and you're also the love of the world. True love, love of God, you know, exists in you because you have the Holy Spirit. In the body of Christ, people are hurting each other. People are attacking each other. People are saying mean things to each other. People have no right to be mean to each other. God is not pleased with that, okay? Charity is kind. The Bible says that you can have all the gifts. You, you know, like, you can have all the gifts, you know? But if you do not have charity... You have nothing. And what is charity? It's kind and it's patient. I just want to enunciate it is kind. Okay? It's wrong for like brothers and sisters to go and hurt and condemn each other. If you come in the name of Jesus Christ and you have convictions from the Holy Spirit about certain things and they are not sin, you know? You have no right to go and put your convictions on other people and force, be forceful about it. Cause that is, that's basically the devil trying to divide the body of Christ. Because one brother or sister thinks they can eat this food and one brother and sister doesn't think they can. So, oh, but they can't accept each other because of their different belief. Or one person esteems one day differently than another person esteems another day. Or one person believes a certain way about God and another person believes a different way. That's only like a small doctrinal dispute. And it's like, it's like, why? Why do you have to force your convictions on other people? Some people believe you shouldn't wear jewelry, and it's sin, and other people believe you can. Like, if you believe in Jesus Christ, and you have the Holy Spirit, and you walk repentant, don't let anyone tell you you're not saved, because that is of the devil, you know? That's just the devil. He will even use... Un he will use believers, like people who claim God. He'll, he'll have them come and attack you and condemn you, you know? And it's just that they're not up to, like, the devil's tricks, you know what I'm saying? It's just words can really hurt people, you know? I'm sure every single person who's, like, watching this video has been hurt by something someone said to them. And it could have hurt them to the point where it stayed with them for years, you know? It's just, being kind to people is important, okay? If you come off as mean and cruel and sarcastic and controlling and forceful, forcing your beliefs on other people, forcing, like, you know, others to believe your way and all this stuff, like, people are gonna, and then they f believe you, they find out you follow God, like, they're gonna be like, oh, I don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, why do you think so many people are put off by religion and Jesus and all this stuff because they think people are like gonna go attack them and force them to come to God and stuff you know like we're supposed to be gentle and loving and caring and kind to people you know and not forceful to people like I even made that mistake like I think in the past like maybe I was too forceful in trying to tell people about God you know 
and I realize my mistake now because I see it, you know, like, like, not even in that way, just in any way, being forceful of any type of, like, beliefs on other people. It's like, it doesn't feel good, and it's like a spirit, you know? It's like some kind of controlling spirit that wants you to do, wants you to obey them or something. It's like wrong. Jesus doesn't force anyone to follow him. He wouldn't force anyone. That's what love is. Love is not forceful, you know? It's free will. Like, don't destroy another brother or sister um, like, because of your conviction, and go push it on them. Like, if someone thinks they can't drink alcohol, and another brother thinks they can, like, if they don't get drunk, they can have, like, one glass of alcohol or something, or beer or whatever, to the point where they don't get drunk. Like, don't destroy each other because you believe differently in these small doctrinal things. If someone wants to go to church, like a building, and another person doesn't want to go there, like, that's, that's not sin. That is a doctrine, that's just, most churches nowadays are false, and they're just buildings, you know what I'm saying? Yes, it's good to fellowship with other people, but please do not push convictions on each other, like brothers and sisters, like, I don't know, man. <laughs> It's just wrong. I can tell through the spirit that it's wrong. Because we aren't supposed to destroy each other because of our beliefs on certain things. And think each other like we're not saved. You're not saved because you wear jewelry. You're not saved because you don't go to church. You're not saved because you eat pork. You're not saved because this is just the devil, you know? These small doctrinal issues, you know? I just, like, if you can just look past each other's differences and realize that you, it all comes down to, does this person love God? Then they are my brother. Then they are my sister. You know? And I should be kind to them because God made them and because God wants me to be kind to them. And they are a child of God. And other unbelievers they, we should treat them kindly also, you know? That's what God wants. I don't understand why people think they can be rude and mean to people. I really don't understand it. Because that's not charity. That's not love. We're supposed to be like gentle, meek, loving, caring. Like, have self-control. You know? Don't forget kindness, guys. Like... It's sad when even unbelievers can come off as more kind than some, than an unbeliever can, you know? We're to represent God, you know? We're to represent Jesus. If you come off as mean and cruel and sarcastic and controlling, people are going to be like, okay, that person is like, what's there's an issue there, you know? Be the light. Be goodness. Is meanness goodness? I know it's not. You know? Alright guys, I just wanted to talk about that because kindness is important. And it's not to be overlooked, you know? You have no right to treat someone like they're worthless. Or treat them like, you know cruelly or meanly that's of the devil you know and it doesn't make people feel good all right guys and i also wanted to say that if it is sin that you're rebuking in a brother and sister then yes that's a different matter i'm talking about like disputations you know like about like small things you know Sin is different, you know. We have to be repentant and not think we can sin, like willfully do evil. <laughs>
but it's not evil to wear jewelry. It's not evil. <laughs> you know, it's not evil to do certain things. Like in my conviction, if your conviction is different, then that's fine. I don't need to fight you on it. I accept you if you love God and if you're repentant. We should look past all these little issues because they don't matter. What matters is love. What matters is God. What matters is Jesus and helping people and loving people. Don't let the devil, like, distract you with, like, little tiny issues that don't meet matter, you know? And divide over it. Because it's really sad if, you, if I have to, like, cut out someone out of my life if they are a believer because they treat me really badly you know what I'm saying because I'm not gonna like take that from people even though I love them I'm not gonna accept it I'm not gonna tolerate being treated like I'm worthless because it's not of God and I want goodness in my life everyone deserves you know like to live like in God's love you know like every believer and not to have to deal with people that are toxic and condemning, you know? Like, we're going to deal with them, obviously, but if it's a brother and sister or whatever, I have to get them out of my life. And it's not because I don't love them, you know? Alright, guys. Alright, just remember, it's good to be kind. We're not perfect, and of course... We're not going to be perfect with it, but don't think it's not important, you know? Alright, love you guys. Be blessed.